Welcome to Robot Lab 2022. This year, our mission was to design a production line which disassembles, inspects, and assembles a gearbox. The team was split into three cells, although we initially worked in functional groups. Students designed robot and defectors with a variety of functions, including moving shells and gears, screwing, and testing gears, fixtures, kitting trays, and buffers to hold, transport, and replenish parts were also manufactured. The PLC team communicated with the robots to trigger them as required. They also controlled the docks and gates of the shuttle conveyor belt. In addition, the computer vision team oversaw the inspection of faulty parts. Finally, five robots were programmed to move parts, screw shells, and test gears using RN defectors. These were programmed via teach mode, allowing for great precision. Prior to the day of the demonstration, we held a presentation showing our planning, deliverables, and key takeaways. We start our demonstration with shuttles entering cell 1. Initially, the robot picks up the end defector on the kitting tray. Next, the gearbox is moved from the shuttle to the disassembly fixture by the Fennec M6i robot and unscrewed with the LR mate. The disassembled parts are now placed back on the kitting tray so that the parts can be inspected. The kitting tray waits for the gates to be changed via the PLC before continuing. Cell 2 inspects the parts and replaces faulty components. A Raspberry Pi and OpenCV identify faults, and results are uploaded to Amazon Web Services. Errors including missing parts, worn gears, and out-of-tolerance holes. If necessary, parts are disposed and new parts replaced via a buffer. Finally, Cell 3 assembles the final gearbox. Initially, the components are moved to the turntable. Note for some movements, such as the big gear, extra steps are needed to ensure the gear meshes properly. The turntable rotates to be in reach of the LR mate, which proceeds to screw the shells. Finally, the end defector is swapped to a gear tester to check if the gears mesh via optical sensors.
The final assembly is then moved back to the kitting tray, leaving a completed gearbox. This process continued until seven successfully completed gearboxes were delivered. And that concludes Robolab 2022. We'd especially like to thank Alan, Duncan, Chris, Simon and Zheng Yang for their hard work in making this all possible.